Welcome back, uh, dear. And uh, you are still watching the breakfast show. And on the occasion of celebrating uh, Valentine's Day, we will get to learn more about the goddess of love in ancient Egypt. We are joined over the phone by Dr. Adel Hamza. He is a tourism expert. Good morning. Good morning. So, as I've uh, just mentioned, uh, that uh, goddess of love uh, in uh, ancient uh, Egypt was uh, a goddess uh, Hathor, and she was one of the 42 gods and goddesses of uh, uh, ancient Egypt. So, sir, can you uh, talk to us about the uh, Egyptian goddess of love? Uh, actually, when we talk about uh, god uh, of love or yes. love in Egypt and romance in Egypt, Hmm. It's more than one god or goddess, actually, because yes. there are many gods and goddesses in, in, Egyptian, uh, in the Egyptian history hmm. uh, representing the love and romance in ancient Egypt. And there, there are a lot yes. of stories in ancient Egypt uh, says how Egyptians were loving each other, loving their wives, hmm. had romance between themselves. Yes. And there are many stories about this. Uh, of course, uh, like the goddess Hathor, who was mm. the god of uh, love and music and joy in ancient Egypt. Also, we are not going to forget uh, the legend of mm. Isis and Osiris, yes. which is representing the most important love in ancient Egypt. And actually, let me talk about one of the loves between the common people mm. in ancient Egypt. We are talking about the dwarf Seneb and his family. Yes. Uh, if you'll give me a, a chance to give you a uh, story please. about the uh, dwarf Seneb and his family, which mm. their statues are representing at the Egyptian Museum, very famous mm. statue at the Egyptian Museum, uh, which can tell us about the love and romance in Egypt. Egypt. The yes. dwarf Seneb, actually, he is one of the common people mm. who were uh, uh, representing the love and romance in ancient Egypt. Yes. He was loved by one of the princesses of the royal mm. family. He was working as a tailor. Yes. And uh, one of the princesses of the royal family loved him very much. Mm. And she challenged all his family to marry this uh, dwarf Seneb. Mm. And uh, had uh, like uh, three kids from him. Mm. And uh, there is a statue, very, very amazing statue. Uh, very important at the Egyptian Museum, representing that love and that romance. Representing mm. uh, the dwarf Seneb and his wife sitting uh, with his two kids and uh, showing his wife uh, giving him a hug. And this is actually a, a clear example for the love in ancient Egypt. Not even between the nobles and the royal families, but between the common people of ancient Egypt. Yes. So, so this is, yeah. Yes, Dr. Adi, please. Hmm. So <laughs> when we talk about love in ancient Egypt, we are not talking about something mm. uh, uh, not important. Now, nah, love, love, love and romance in ancient Egypt was very clear between all the people. As I told you, there is the legend of Isis and Osiris. Mm. There is the story of love between uh, the great king Ramses II mm. and his wife Nefertari. And uh, the remains or the tomb which found in that Valley of the Queens for uh, Queen Nefertari, representing that love. He wanted to actually make this love life forever. When you talk about love, go to the Nefertari yes. uh, tomb and see the love on the wall. Hmm. In each picture of the wall, you see the love of the King Ramses II to his wife, Nefertari. It is another story. There is a story of King Eknaton and his wife Nefertiti, mm. the wife from the wife to the husband. You can see how she was supporting him, how she was helping him, how she is in his back, in his new, uh, you know, his new beliefs who challenged all the people in that time and how his wife was supporting him. To show you how was the romance and love in ancient Egypt, yes. how she sacrificed mm. with everything for the sake of her, uh, of her husband. Mm. So this is very great example for the love and romance in ancient Egypt. Yes. So, sir, uh, is uh, there such a day commemorated for ancient Egyptians as uh, the Valentine's Day now, nowadays? Of course, the Egyptians, they had their, oh, they had their own occasion to love 
or to celebrate uh, like uh, our modern Valentine's Day. Mm. Of course, there are a lot of pictures, a lot of papyrus mm. commemorating this, uh, this occasion mm. and showing how the husband loves his, uh, his, uh, his wife and how the, the wife uh, loves their husband. Yes. Uh, this is very, very clear on the pictures, on the walls of the mm. temple, as I told you. Look at the, the pictures which is representing Osiris and Isis. You can see the love gives you uh, the feeling. Mm -hmm. Even the pictures give you the feeling how they were loving each other, how they were giving uh, flowers and perfumes for each other. Mm -hmm. now, nowadays, we celebrate by giving flowers and perfumes to our wife or our husband. So you can see that on the temple, it is yes. commemorated on the temple. Yes, uh, so sir, uh, throughout the history and the inscriptions of goddess, uh, 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 of the goddess of love, how did the ancient Egyptians uh, celebrate love in general? Uh, in general, they used to celebrate or to show how they love each other by giving gifts. Hmm. So one of the gifts, one of the best gifts, which is very clear and everybody can see it in the walls of the hmm. temples and tombs, is perfume and flowers. Yes. You can see the, the lotus flower is one of the main flowers in ancient Egypt. They yes. used to give, us, to, give, to give us an idea how they were uh, presenting the, the, the flowers to each other. Mm. Uh, they used to uh, use the bottles of perfumes and <coughs> touching their uh, people who are loving with this, with this perfume. Yes. Uh, for uh, the, the other things, the, the love of goddess, they used to give uh, uh, a lot of good things they like to the goddess and the gods of, uh, of love. Uh, shown on the temples, uh, how the people giving, the, mm. you know, the best things they have in their houses to the gods. Yes. Uh, the common people, the best, I mean, the noble mm. people, they give, of course, perfume and, uh, uh, and flowers. But see, the common people, they used to give just the things in their houses, like bread, they give the gods bread, they give the gods the flower, uh, fl uh, fruit, hmm. which is the things uh, available in their houses. So this is one of the things they express about themselves to the gods and the goddess of love. Yes. Uh, also, uh, uh, goddess uh, Hathor was uh, worshipped uh, throughout ancient Egypt, but her original center of worship was at uh, Dindara. So, uh, can you uh, tell us uh, more about uh, uh, the, the goddess of Dendera in all ancient times? And she was worshipped in it since the era of uh, ancient state. And the temples uh, that are preserved uh, and were built during the era of uh, during this era. Uh, actually, uh, as you said, you are very true about this because the god Hathor was not worshipped only in Egypt, by the way. It yeah. was worshipped also in Egypt and uh, the countries around Egypt. Mm. Uh, there were a lot of uh, temples were found <coughs> around the countries uh, around Egypt mm. uh, representing the goddess Hathor, the god of love and music and romance in ancient Egypt. And of yes. course, the temple of Dandara is a great example, the great life example for this uh, goddess. Mm. And uh, on the walls of this uh, temple, you see the scenes which is representing the love in a very clear picture. Yes. You see in this, uh, in this temple, uh, the people, they like to go to Dandara to see this temple, which is, uh, by the way, in a very good condition, mm. still alive until today. And you can see there how the people, they were loving each other, how the people, they were presenting the good things to the goddess Hathor, the god of Romans and Romans in ancient Egypt. Uh, were there any other goddesses uh, than uh, uh, goddess Hathor uh, as a representative of love? Yes, of course, there are many, like uh, goddess Beth, mm. uh, god, uh, goddess Isis and Osiris, the legend of goddess. Uh, mm. Isis and uh, Osiris. Of course, also the Egyptians, they uh, worshipped Aphrodite. Yes. During the Greco-Roman uh, during the Greco-Roman era, they mm. worshipped Aphrodite as the love of uh, the god of love and romance mm. in the Greco-Roman uh, countries. So, uh, 
as you are saying that the love in Egypt is not a new thing. The love in Egypt yes. or celebrating the love and romance in Egypt is really, really a very uh, common thing. Yes, true. Yes, sir, I'd like to thank Dr. Adil Hamza, a tourism expert. Thank you for being with us and happy Valentine's to all our viewers. Uh, dear viewers, short break and uh, we'll be back with our, with our second segment for today. So stay tuned.